Greetings, my esteemed disciples, and greetings to all supporters as well. Today I thought to talk a bit about fasting, because I recently issued a wild hunt challenge, and one of the steps in that challenge is to perform two 24-hour fasts. And first and foremost, I will just give a brief rundown of the procedure I go through whenever I do one of these fasts. So basically, if I train in the morning as I don't eat breakfast, I just utilize a scoop, 10 grams of amino acids before the gym and after the gym. Then I get back, eat lunch, which is the only meal of the day. So it can basically be a standard lunch of some eggs, some bacon, a smoothie of some sort with some extra whey in it to make up for um, the protein intake. And then after that, it might be 12 or at 1 o'clock, something like that. Then I simply do not eat anything else during that day. You can, of course, use some coffee or tea if you want. If you want to make the challenge of a fast a bit more intense, you can also skip the coffee. But uh, if it's the first time you do it, and if you do drink coffee on a regular basis, I would definitely suggest that you also take coffee because it will push you through if you get hungry or if you start lacking focus etc but be mindful so that you don't take coffee too late in the day and um, have a hard time falling asleep now also it's perhaps unpleasant for some people to try to go to bed on an empty stomach when you are hungry but I would argue the case that it is actually something to it's an acquired taste to fall asleep on a hungry stomach. I've done it plenty over the years when I've been cutting to get shredded, etc. And it's something that it's a bit unpleasant in the beginning, but once you get used to it, once you get into the mindset that when you fall asleep hungry, your body is just burning through all sorts, all kinds of fat you have on your body, and it just cleanses the body. So if you can get that mindset into you when you try to fall asleep when you're hungry you have gained a great victory over yourself you've gained a great victory in your health journey so try to think of it that way when you're falling asleep hungry you're doing yourself your mind your body a great service so basically to recap i eat one big meal at lunch then i don't eat anything after that i can utilize some tea or coffee without any milk or sugar or cream to increase my focus and lessen my hunger a bit if I feel like it. And then after that I eat a big lunch 24 hours after the um, the lunch I ate the day before. Now on to the second topic of today. It's a quite simple question but first I have some homework for you all to do and it's simply to Google, to search on Google or whatever search engine you prefer. Search for fasting health benefits or even intermittent fasting health benefits and then when you have read up on all different sorts of studies and um, you can see what sort of health benefits you think is most attractive then you might ask yourself why aren't more people why aren't more institutions promoting fasting and the answer to the question is quite simply there aren't particularly much money to be made out of promoting fasting there aren't any pill that Big Pharma can sell to you. And keep in mind that there are a lot of big companies, a lot of big pharma companies that do not want you happy and healthy. They want you sick and depressed because that means they can sell on to you expensive medication. There aren't that much money if you are a big pharmaceutical company to be made out of healthy people. But sick people an absolute gold mine absolute gold mine for a lot of companies to have uh, unhealthy people then of course also weak people in general you can make a lot of money out of them you can't make as much money out of fit and healthy people and we can talk about bad things you eat or even drugs etc a lot of money to be made in promoting unhealthy behaviors not as much money to be made out of fit and healthy people so that is basically the short answer to the simple question, why aren't more people promoting this? Why aren't more institutions promoting this? And it's the same thing with other health boosting things you can do, such as training 
I can also give some health advice for anyone who doesn't want to go into the gym. Just go for a walk for an hour each day. It will do wonders for your well-being. It will do wonders for your health. So you can choose either you give money to these companies that does not work in your favor. Or you can give money to yourself or you can give energy and health to yourself by just taking care of yourself. By doing such things as fasting every once in a while, training, eating good, sleeping well, do not participate in the generous use of drugs, etc. So that is the reason why these sort of things aren't more promoted. But for me, I want the best for my disciples. I want all of my disciples to be life-affirming forces of nature. So I say to you, abstain from bad things and embrace good things. So basically, for well-being, you can try to incorporate a 24-hour fast every month or so and of course you can do it more often if you feel comfortable but again read up on the health benefits just search around a bit for it and um, yeah hopefully that will be motivation for you to do some fasting so i hope that was enlightening and thank you for watching be sure to follow me on telegram and twitter as well i have all social media links in the description box below you can also Support my holy work if you want to do that. All links in the description box. So, thank you for watching. XXO. Boom.